<laughs> hello, hello again, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to switch myself for some reason. <laughs> I can't see it. It's lunchtime. Hello. It's lunchtime, guys. But hello, 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 guys. I'm Helene Richardson. I'm here at this work. Yeah. So it's bizworkcenter.org. So check out their website. It's a entrepreneur center. Yeah. So check it out, guys. And I'm going to turn it around so that um, not that many things. She's with Barbara. Is her name on here? Her name is Anne. Her contact, Anne Maloney. She's with Arbonne. Let's see, I can show you her. Let's see, where is that camera? Where is it? I can't get it. There it is. That's our contact information. And so I learned a little bit about and all that kind of stuff like that. I'm going to have sex and Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ann Maloney, like I said, um, and uh, I, uh, like many of you, have had another career. You know, it seems like most people at this work are doing something, a new thing, something like that they were really passionate about, they've been out for a long time. Um, and so I'm a licensed architect. I am um, uh -huh. <laughs> from uh, Mississippi originally. I went to my group in Goldsport. Oh, wow. And I'm, I'm from down that way. Are you? Okay. New Orleans. Are you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said on Facebook on Fat Tuesday, I said, my life really has changed. I said, I'm still eating on Fat Tuesday, and I'm looking more for Lent than I am Mardi Gras. I'm a long way there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, it's a journey, and I think when we stumble upon something that's our passion, sometimes we can look back and see. That it was always our passion. Even when we were younger, we just didn't we just didn't know yet. So I grew up, you know, in I grew up eating healthy. Really, my mother actually her first meal she made was hot dogs, mm. and she'd never cooked in her life. And then she has six children, and then she she you know Julia Child taught my mother I cook. <laughs> I remember seeing all the cookbooks, and my mom always said she was way before ratatouille. She said if any, you can read, you can cook. And so mm. she taught herself how to cook. So I had a gourmet cook for my mother who fed us well, made our own things. But wow. middle school, you know, I started seeing like processed food started coming out more and more. And I remember, maybe it was in fourth grade, my best friend's mom would pack a lunch of white bread, a little Debbie Swiss roll, and Doritos. And I told my mom, that's what I want for lunch. <laughs> 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 now, that was my introduction to really a lot of processed food. Mm. And then I went to middle school, and there was a convenience store across the street, and I got a bar to repair, which is made in Biloxi, Mississippi, my diet, full strength sugar, <laughs> and a pack of powdered donuts. Wow. <laughs> now, I was, like, probably a little heavier than I am now. Nothing to, you know, write home about figure-wise. I mean, you know, I'm a late bloomer. But, um, <laughs> but I, I could get away with it then.
Wow. I wasn't stressed anymore. I went to the doctor sick, and he, they were like, well, you weigh this. I'm like, there's no way. But at the time, my pants were like this. I was not able to zip any pants on my own. I'm like, it didn't dawn on me, though. But I was happy. I was stress-free. And I was able to speak because I had adopted a child after waiting 10 years to have a baby. Um, I was happy, but, but I wasn't eating healthy. Mm-hmm. So then Arbonne's introduced into my life at nine and a half years ago. Well, the time, I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't severely unhealthy, but I did have unhealthy habits that over time, getting older, were going to, you know, only increase. And also, I just never really thought about doing a whole bag of taxes. I figured, and I'm not political, but the FDA had me covered. <laughs> you know, it makes it good and good. And so um, I had a new awareness of what were the things I was seeing on my skin. So I tried to I ate the sticker line. So then I woke up one morning with her arm and said, Is this as good as it gets? I grew up on the beach, sunning with baby oil and iodine, reflecting that. No sunscreen. <laughs> Lived in Montana where it was dry, skiing, no sunscreen. Um, and then I woke up and went, Wow, this is it. This is as good as it gets. And then I started learning about ingredients and that you could actually your skin and reverse the signs of aging by using good things that when you put on your skin they get absorbed into your body in like 26 seconds. And they go in your bloodstream and they don't go through a detox like And so I've learned a lot in my own years. I've also started looking at what I eat now because Arbonne started all this 37 years ago as this little skincare company that wanted to create a product that didn't have any harmful ingredients in it. And um, they were green before green was popular. They had the, the owner had the vision that people could be healthier and that you could eliminate all those harsh chemicals and still have a good product. And so we are gluten free, kosher certified, um, vegan certified, which is really hard to get. And um, and all of our products kind of represent pure safety beneficial from from the outside and now through the inside. So about two about <coughs> two years ago, the Clean Eating Program got introduced, and I did it. And I did it for the first time through a process of starvation. So I drank my shake in the morning. I didn't eat much. ate a little bit at lunch. And, yeah, I lost weight. And I felt good because it was taking all bad stuff out. But it really wasn't a healthy way to approach it because then when 30 days was over, oh, gosh, those cheeses. I'm eating cheeses again. I'm eating all the cheese. <laughs> but what I discovered is all of a sudden, this cheese just does not settle right. And I don't think I'm tr- truly gluten intolerant, but the cheese and gluten, you know, all the stuff added up. And so I had had stomach issues in high school, but I look back now and I'm like, food allergies. Mm-hmm. And so I did it then, I did it again a little bit better, and then I've done it for like two or three months now. Now, the reason I did it recently is I have so many clients who are doing it, but also my husband's doctor said, and I've been trying to get my husband doing this for two years, he said, <laughs> I was a lean guy, you never know. Somebody had little bits of chronic inflammation, brain fog, snoring at night, congestion in his sinuses, um, just a little bit of insomnia. Just, just wasn't like connected to creativity. He's an architect. So then his doctor said, I want you to clean eat. So he comes home and I said, okay, you're going to clean eat quickly and eat with me and with our products. You're my testimony. I hate to say it, but not your doctor's testimony because he had stuff too. But I have seen my husband, he's not snoring anymore, 24 <laughs> years later. <laughs> he's, he's, he's more alert. He sleeps through the night. His throat and his nasal passages, the inflammation is being reduced. Mm-hmm. He's creative. He feels like he's thinking clearer. Chronic pain in his knee, that's gone away. Clients of mine, they've also been snoring after 14 years. You know, feeling the best they've ever felt in their entire life. That's very rewarding, you know, to hear that and to see it. Migraines go away, vertigo's go away. You know, I can just name the list. So, their clean eating is a trend right now, but if you do it right and do it well, there are so many benefits. And when you roll off of clean eating, you start tasting something that you loved before, and it doesn't taste quite right to you anymore because you your palate has been adjusted to what real food tastes like, not dead food that just doesn't serve you. So that's just a little bit of a story on um, 
So, you know, we all, a lot of us know this, one third of the adults and children are overweight, obese, or morbidly obese. Um, it's the leading, one of the leading causes of death. And we're, our children are not going to outlive us. You know, it's a trending as the way it's going. Our children are not going to have a long, long life. And you know what I realized one time when my son was three? I was like, gosh, he's eating all these food. I was like, hey, I never <laughs> and then because he couldn't drive he getting it so and now i'm the same way because i don't try to i try to educate him he's gonna want his swiss rolls he's gonna want what everybody's eating the six pack of oreos but so every once in a while i'll just kind of give him a little bit of that but it's not the norm and so he's a clean eater. In fact, he'll go, are we detoxing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, in a way. But I really hate it. I don't really want to think about it as detoxing. Like our plan is clean eating and, and a gentle detoxification. So you get the maximum benefit of both. You're you cleaned out your system and you're also putting good food into it. So, if you know, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, cancer, depression, autoimmune disease, neuro neurological diseases. And too much sugar. We all know sugar is toxic. And you know, you try to get out of get away from sugar, it is so hard. Mm, it yeah. is in everything. It's, it's and I don't know why. If you go, know, we we launched into Taiwan, Arvon did, and we we created a product that's free proteins, it has no sweetener at all in it, because we're moving into these countries that have very little sugar in their diets. And a lot of times they'll come to our country and start eating our food and they'll gain weight. They'll oh, yeah. gain like fifteen pounds in a month. Because they they are not used to this kind of um, this kind of sugar, and so you know our meat, dairy, our poultry is loaded with hormones, antibiotics, and fillers. And I you know I try to buy organic or all natural as much as I can, but sometimes it's a little unavoidable. You know you just don't know the pesticides there and things. Um, we I have a great list of like it's the dirty dozen and the clean fifteen, and it's the things you should buy organically and the things you can get away with not. Oh, and I'll be happy to share that with anybody. Um, so basically, we're filling our bodies with genetically modified fresh and foods, and like Arbon is no GMOs. We, and you know, we we kind of have have to do that in some ways. Um, the world because we've got to keep up the population and the, the food demands. But I think we can get to that extreme. And she's the gen genetically modified organisms. Um, mm -hmm. And so we're, we're all overfed and we're undernourished. So it's not what we eat, it's what we absorb. So what you're putting in your body, if it's none of the nutritional value, it's, there's nothing there. You know, you're running on empty, basically. So the medical community, you know, I think there's some doctors out there starting to embrace kind of the natural approach and the medical approach. That's exciting <coughs> for me. I think their businesses will be booming. If they would embrace both. Um, one of my friends had a client who had gone to Europe, she's not specific doctors, testing for migraines and all her life. She did the 30 day cleaning and then she had a dream of tolerance. They came up. It's like they never asked, where are you eating? It's, a, it's all, it's just what pills can you take to treat the symptoms? Um, and we do starvation diets, we count, we count carbs, we count calories. We focus on skinny rather than healthy. It's a short term fix versus a lifestyle change. And like I said, like food companies and the FDA, they really don't care about our health. They care about making money. And we all want to make money, but why can't we do both together? So I think, you know, we're getting sicker, fatter, and sedentary to the sad side of life. Um, and I think what we eat is causing us to be sedentary. We're, we don't have the energy to get up off the couch to go do anything anymore. And my goal is, you know, to be young with my son. He's 12. I want to be, you know, we're running the 10K in a couple of weeks. I want to be living life with him because when I was growing up, the youngest was six. My dad was 42 when I was born. His first heart attack at 45. Mm -hmm. He died when I was 28 and he was 70. I remember going to the pool when I was in the elementary school and he was in Mm -hmm. And I was so protective of him. I was like, it's not popular. I love my dad, but he had smoked, you know, and that's when we didn't know smoking was bad. Mm -hmm. And he had heart disease in his family. My grandfather died of it, my dad died of it, and then my brother got triple bypass surgery or quadruple recently, age um, 63. 
and he told me my brother is so intelligent, engineer, lawyer, studied quantum physics on his own. He said, well, I never smoked. And I said, it's more than that. He was overweight, eating bad food. You know, and I was like, gosh, I always thought my brother was smarter than I was. <laughs> I smoked for eight years. Because my parents smoked, my sister smoked. I thought smoking was part of growing up. I smoked 13, you know, into my 20s. And you know what I realized when I was in my 20s? I didn't want to smoke anymore. I just did it because it was social. Everybody was doing it. But I looked up when I was like, I'm smoking. And I said, yeah. and I'm so glad I did. Because my mother died of COPD. She was in 62, 63. It was too late. It was too late um, at that point. And she knew that. She recognized that. But for me, I mean, she had incredible genes. She would have lived 90 something. She would have So, like we talked about this, are you experiencing low energy brain fog? Brain fog. Brain fog. Brain fog. Brain fog. <laughs> frequent <laughs> headaches, liver cravings, constipation, bloating, gas, and other meals, indigestion, or acid reflux. Can't function without regular coffee, but we can't. Aches and pains, stiffness, losing weight, taking prescription meds, food allergies, skin problems, um, consuming regular or diet sodas. Mm -hmm. I, I really believe that we're all living a stressful life, but if we ate like Tanner, I know. He's super healthy. <laughs> I'm just kidding you, Tanner. If we, you know, yeah, but if we ate healthier, we would manage the stress better. That all the garbage we put in our bodies is compounding the stress and it's compounding the illnesses mm -hmm. and the and missing work and not feeling like you can produce like you used to produce because it's not it's competitive out there and you've got to be better in the next year. And I, and I, I don't like that feeling. I never liked that feeling, but it's, it's the truth. You know, we have to. It's interesting. I, I didn't grow up an athlete. I was playing in the yard and Mississippi just didn't have a lot of opportunities for girls. In athletics, not for that. So, um, like I said, I'm a late bloomer. So, when I was age 47, I ran my first 5K and I actually won for my age group. And I kidded that nobody showed up serious that day. Because <laughs> I was like, really? Like, hold on. I'm like, okay. So, a friend of mine said, why don't you run the 10K? So, I'm like, I can't run. So, I'm not a runner. She goes, if you train, you could do it. It's okay. So, I trained. Ran the 10K at Brunswick at 49. So, when I turned 50, I did my first sprint triathlon, and then I'm running the 10K this year. Oh. So you can change your life if you want to. You can make changes. It's never too late. My mother put, like, night cream on, anti-aging night cream on every night at 82, and she just did it, you know. She didn't think she was too old for it. She just like, okay, I'm doing it. So you just have to keep moving forward and making the changes. This book right here, I... Just write some really interesting books. But this one said, this one my husband walked into the event. And I really think it was kind of a, it was all divinely inspired precursor to the 30 day cleaning for that. But it's super genius. And it's talking about unlocking your, the power of your DNA and optimizing your health and your well being. And it's about what you eat, what you're doing with your life, your activity. You can actually change the course of your own DNA and your genetic makeup. You know, a lot of us say, well, I was born that way, and that's what my family is. It's not the case. You can make changes in your life that will, and it can even change the course of your own children's. Like, so say you're in childbearing years, when you can have a baby, you, sometimes you transfer your stress, your poor genetics, eating habits onto that child. That you, if you changed before you had children, that would change their DNA code too. I mean, I'm not even scientific, but this reads really easily for me. <laughs> I need something. I might fall asleep. But that's, that's mind-blowing for me, you know, that you can really change that. So detoxifying is essential for health and weight loss. You know, um, eating clean, no pesticides, pesticides, chemicals, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, to clean the liver and eliminate, gently eliminate um, the other organs. We identify allergies, addictive foods, or sex. Restart your metabolic thermostat and you reduce your food craving by stabilizing your blood sugar. And then also reducing inflammation in your body. And so it's kind of think about the bathtub analogy, you know, you turn on the faucet, you fill the tub, you drain the tub, you fill in it. If your drain is clogged, the rate at which it's going to drain is slower and slower. So the buildup of those toxins in your system 
they go into your fat cells. Your mm -hmm. toxins get absorbed into your fat cells because they want to keep your organs clean and safe as possible. That's why a lot of people get, you'll see people with um, like the belly. The belly is where you store a lot of your toxins. And I'll show you some before and after pictures. My husband, in fact, like I said, he's a lean guy, but he was starting to get this, you know, here's your stomach. He was starting to get this bulge here. His dad had it too. And then he was getting like just kind of more of a pattern. I'm like, you're looking old. It kind of makes somebody look old all of a sudden, you know? Mm -hmm. I just kind of look old to me. <laughs> and I was dealing, I was thickening up too here. I mean, the fact that you gain what, 10 years, 10 pounds every 10 years, you know? And um, so when he started the clean eating, all of a sudden this was just a flat out. And you'll see a picture of another man, and this all flattened out. And these were, and this doctor was like, you've reduced the inflammation in your stomach. Mm -hmm. Now, don't, don't tell us this, but never was regular this whole life. <laughs> regular, every day. And we can't believe it. We used to think it was all stress related. And, and that, if you, know, if you have that problem, it's very stressful and you're uncomfortable. You know, it's just not a good thing. Did I skip? Okay. So anyway, um, like I said, you're kind of we're doing a we're doing a gentle cleaning and also teaching you how to eat real food. So you're gently cleaning at the cellular level and cleaning out all the organs. Um, like I, I told you, some of these it's going to boost your energy. I had one client who said, "I've never felt this good in my life." He's 43 years old. You know, I've had other. I have a bunch of clients right now, and I never thought would be my client. You know, and they're stunt masters who do the stunts for their business. These guys are passionate. They're telling people in Lowe's checking out. They cost 21 pounds. And people are like, what are you doing? And they're like, feel great. They feel great. And they have the energy to do their jobs every day. And they're not loading it up all the time. You know, I'm trying to say prepare ahead of time so you're not tempted to go to 7 Eleven and get the sandwich of the day. <laughs> Um, so what we do, this is just our program. Like I said, there's other programs out there, but this is the key to ours. We remove dairy products, gluten, processed foods, margarine, margarine just spreads, coffee, soda, alcohol, artificial sweeteners, and fine sugar. Instead, we do fresh fruits and vegetables, raw vegetables, raw fruit, ground rice, quinoa, oatmeal, nuts and seeds, beans, organic eggs, turkey that's nitrate-free, organic chicken, grass-fed beef, and wild caught fish. And we recommend like doing a grass-fed beef just once a week. Red meat is a huge inflammatory. And I'm trying to get my brother in law in Montana. When you're living in Montana, you eat a lot of beef because it's, it's yummy. You know, I mean, you never have a steak like you have in Montana. But that's his go to meal. I mean, he's 48 and he eats a lot of red meat, but he's got terrible back problems, hip problems. He's kind of an acupuncturist and chiropractor because he's got some damage. So I talked to his wife about him and I said, if I could recommend anything, I would say, please and get all this therapy done, so then all the inflammation is gone, and you can actually get the most benefit out of the, out of the uh, treatments. And that's going to be given up your alcohol, and they like to the drink their alcohol and their red meat. But it makes a difference. You know, why low glycemic, not low carb? Um, insulin is secreted in response to eating simple carbohydrates, and bread and crackers and white potatoes. It signals how you to bring your blood sugar down and hold on to it. So, side of the steps that anything that causes a rise in blood sugar results in inflammation. When my husband had this battery of blood work done, <coughs> and we were really surprised that he didn't eat a lot of sugar, his blood sugar levels were high. And the doctor's like, Your blood sugar level is really high. But, like I said, it was woven into so many things we eat that for him, it tipped a scale. Even though he wasn't a high sugar, high candy eater or anything like that, for some reason, this spiked up. So, you don't really know. And I, do, I believe this too. Inflammation is the basis of every disease. You know, we have like cancer, Alzheimer's disease. You know, being our skin mm -hmm. is affected. No gluten or soy. Gluten is the, you know, gluten is found in grains like wheat, rye, and barley. And, you know, a long time everybody goes, well, we all ate gluten when we were younger. Well, we did. But right now, gluten is like three times the levels in our bread that we used to eat. As a longer shelf life, it makes us faster. Mm -hmm. And it's genetically modified. Mm -hmm. So you throw all these things together, our body can't process it fast enough. And so that's why we're having trouble with it. Um, there's there's acidic proteins, they're difficult to digest, and soy is too, and allergenic. 
Um, the immune system often attacks these proteins, causing inflammation, bloating, and hot belly, and it inflames the intestines. It causes, you know, gut leaks, where it leaks into your bloodstream. And soy contains bioestrogens, which can mimic female hormone estrogen. So my sister has um, breast cancer, estrogen fed breast cancer when she was in her 40s. And so my daughter's a take. I used to love this one soy protein drink I drank every morning. And he, she said, you need to take that out of your diet. You're feeding, he's feeding, you know, cancer. So um, no dairy is also acidic. Full of hormones and antibiotics because you're not, you know, think about it. You know, you're using so many things. The guy about organic milk, but I don't buy organic cow and cow, and I don't buy organic, you know, yogurt all the time or cheese. It's not all organic. I mean, I couldn't sure. afford to really. Um, and so it causes acne and mucus production. The best thing, my, my son, he's so funny because you know, he's 12 and he's starting to be real aware of his skin. And we've had to kind of get his skin cleared up. So he'll look at the donuts at church. And he's long and lean, so he doesn't have any problem with anything. <laughs> and he goes, Mom, I had one donut today and not two because it didn't taste well. And I'm like, if that is what keeps him from eating poorly, <laughs> if I want it, then it'll make my face break out. Okay, like, hey, you know, you're supposed to this girl thing. I'll take it. Um, you know, we have the highest, at least the highest consumption of dairy, we have the highest breast cancer and osteoporosis, which we used to think. You drink more milk to offset osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. But you know, like all milk actually has more calcium than milk. And that's what I made your really? I love almond milk now. I really drink milk. Well. Um, the EPA states mm -hmm. that 100% of beef and 93% of cheese are extremely mm -hmm. I don't know. That's a good question, though. How do you milk an almond? Up, I cut the peppers up, I cut the 
comes up, I get the salad washed. My refrigerator is loaded with stuff ready to roll. So if I want a salad and I'm in a hurry and I have like three minutes, I get shredded carrots. I pay more for shredded carrots, but if I'm shredded because I don't have to chop them. So I found a system that works for me, and then I can just make a quick salad. I have hard boiled eggs already boiled. So I tell everybody prepare. Preparing for it is key. Mm -hmm. And then taking out all the bad stuff out of your pantry that you know you love and it's not good for you. Clean it out. Give it away. It's not open. Give it to your turf pantry. Whatever you need to do. Um, so, hold on. I'm, can we look at those before and after pictures real quick? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to show you all some before and after pictures of real people. Um, I love the stories I hear. Oh, while well, he's doing that, I'll tell you. Okay, here's your dirty dozen. These are the things too about organic apples, bell peppers, blueberries, celery, cucumbers, grapes, lettuce, nectarines, peaches, potatoes, spinach, and strawberries. Those uh, have to be or not? They should be. Okay, they should be organic. Uh -huh. These are the lowest in pesticides, which surprised me. Asparagus. But yes. sometimes it's the thicker skin, things like avocado, cavage, cantaloupe. Or eggplant, grapefruit, mm -hmm. kiwi, mangoes, mushrooms, onions, pineapples, sweet peas, sweet potatoes, and watermelon. So think about the yeah. rind of a of one, yeah. in, the, in the skin of most of these. It's protecting the internal you know, guts of the root. It's the more exposed ones. Mm. Stuff that's easier to grow. It seems like. Mm. I would have thought know. asparagus that would have been on. There. No, true. Because yeah. it's so exposed. You know? Yeah. Not, okay, so this Heidi is a consultant for mine. You know, whoa. <laughs> this was after a year of school. You know, she had a couple, two or three children, just had developed four heads. You know, it's easy to have children. You're, you're snacking. I snack with my son all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so So she started <laughs> clean eating. And, and, and you know what? She, a lot of people are even extra. And they're doing, they're, and, they're, and they're losing weight. I would say exercise too, because as you get older, if you lose too much weight, you look kind of skinny and old, you know. And, and <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure you're strong and doing some weight bearing exercises, sitting on osteoporosis and other issues. So, this is how you before and after. That was a year of now, some people do it like they'll do it, they'll do the detoxifying month, the cleaning month with our like our seven day cleanse to gently eliminate the toxins, but then after that, they may do 80 20. So 80% clean eating, 20% kind of real life. And then they may do, you know, they, so they may modify it as they go along just because, they, you know, sometimes you can't perfectly eat and you need to learn how to integrate it in your life. So that's Heidi. She still has maintained that. There's another girl, she lost 70 pounds. She's, she's doing the 80-20 rule. You know, one month real strong, 80-20 the next month. And then the next one, this is, a, this is the husband of another consultant. Um, he didn't do, he didn't exercise at all. And oh, she man, had to do, he had a, the belly. You know, the they use it all. And, 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 and he was a little bit skeptical and so he took pictures of himself. And this is what happens. This is called weak belly. You know, inflammation, toxins, like I said, they get stored in your fat. And mm -hmm. you just slowly, slowly. When I, that happened to my husband, it happened to people in my D&I group. Mm -hmm. They just all of a sudden they were just like turn it out. So anyway, I love that picture. That's what got my contract. They saw what this guy looked like. This is what woke them up and go, wow, that really does work. And they feel great. So it's not so our goal is um, it's not perfection, it's a process. And it's a process of changing how you think about food and what you're putting in your body. And I really think too, it's creating the legacy of what you're showing your friends family and kids because they're not going to wake up at 25 and quit eating junk. Their bodies are going to crave it and they're going to be eating it. Mm -hmm. They have to change now, and I believe. And then they want to have a long life and to be the best they can do. So that's what I encourage people to consider looking at your life. And, you know, for me, the cleaning identified my go to bad habit. I love a cheese that I love a box of cheese <laughs> I love a box. chip. <laughs> I am my father's not. I love eating crunches. Mm -hmm. But recently I was eating a cucumber. I'm like, this crunch is like a chip. This is good, you know? So, or the crunch mats for crackers. 
they don't have gluten in them. So finding other alternatives can be Questions? Has anybody done a clay meeting before? I have. have you seen mm -hmm. it's, um, I use it. It's called um, ben yeah. bentonite clay. Uh -huh. And um, you can you, you can put it on your skin. You know, like the, what's it called? That um, wrap oh, that women uh -huh. use. Well, that's with the clay. But there's two kinds. So there's the one that you use for internal and one for external. So you can use it as a detox. But talking about men, you know, men lose weight a lot faster than what we are. And um, I remember we had gone through the, um, uh, what is that, the P90X mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. And we were losing and everything. And then we kind of got off of it. And then when, then I kept working out, but then my husband wasn't doing anything. He just stopped drinking <coughs> soft drinks at work. So I got like really mad because I'm like working <laughs> out every day, you know, and He's losing weight. I'm like, you must be going to the gym or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just off drinking drink. Well, I mean, look at that. I have a client who's, who's six diet cokes a day girl. She mm -hmm. started the plant cleaning. I called her one day and said, oh, you know, she said, I'm, she doesn't only have two soft drinks a day. And I said, well, you know, we're working on zero, right? Right. I said, but I'm loving you through the two because if mm -hmm. you can do, if you went from six to two, that's a win for me. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and then she'll get off and be on like six and one and then nine and then you know like we like we're we're offering products that are replacing those habits and replacing those things with good things and helping you get the nutrients you need to feel good to then to keep um i think too about men and y'all won't get mad at me for this but what i've noticed with my men and my women you give a man a system to do like okay this is what you do you know, this is your employee list. And we have a secret Facebook page that has menus and recipes. And, and so I gave them all the information. And they're like, okay, this is what I do. So they, they go buy all this stuff. And they're eating almonds at their meetings. And and they they have been more successful than, like, another lady I talked to. And I think women have more attachment to it emotionally than men do. Not all men and women, but women have an emotional attachment. Men are like, this is just survival. <laughs> These are the habits I'm going to change. And, um, and the women, some women are struggling because it's, it's an emotional. I was going to say, we have routines that we did. Mm -hmm. like, like I said, I was going to give up sugar for 40 days. In the morning, I was routine, and I would come downstairs and I would make a cup of coffee. So what do you put in the coffee? I mean, you put sugar mm -hmm. in the coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, the creamer has sugar in it. Yeah. You know, so it's like creating new. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part. Especially if you need your girlfriends or work with coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. or learning to drink it without the sugar. Or getting a banner coffee, and then you don't have to worry about all that sugar. But still, it's just routine. Just routinely grabbing. And now, like, I'll taste something that has a lot of sugar in it, and it's too sweet. I'm like, ugh, that's really sweet. Um, you know, like. <laughs> and I think so many children, I, I, think it's, I don't think it's their fault that they're mm -hmm. suffering from sugar. Mm -hmm. It's because it's in their ketchup and, and it's the hot fructose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fat is an acquired taste. Like, it's mm -hmm. like a, you know, it's actually an acquired taste. Like, mm -hmm. people, you're not born with, you know, the ability to enjoy fat, like yeah. unnatural fat. Mm -hmm. One, there's a lot that goes into, and I don't, I'm not an expert, but the subliminal advertising, the things that they put in there, like cigarettes, that can mm -hmm. make you want it again. You yes. know, there's a lot going into it. Read those oh. labels. If you can't pronounce it, mm -hmm. you know, if you can't pronounce everything on it, then, then you shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. So, are we going to get a chance to uh, figure out uh, how do you get some of these? Pro do you, are these specific Arbonne? products or this is just a, a way of life or how tell me more about your business okay. um, well like I said we're, we have a whole nutritional plan okay. um, our bond like I said did skincare yeah. and then they realized we're, we're so good at this we're so clean and pure let's let's bring in the, the wellness piece to it so we're living. doing both sides of it we even had we even hired a Mayo Clinic to test our whole essential nutritional line because we clinically trial everything, and we said, 
We want to know what you think. We want to know what your perspective is. Is it does it have the nutrients? Is it what we say it is? And they came back with findings that, that supported our claims. So we paid them independently. We can't rubber stamp everything with the Mayo Clinic, mm-hmm. but we definitely we definitely did that. And so what our system does is providing the nutrients, it's eliminating the allergens, and it's giving gotcha. the the um, the vitamins, the nutrients, and the detoxifying piece to gently detox. So we have a soy, uh, we have a, um, a protein drink, it's 20 grams of protein. We have fiber boost that you can have more fiber. Then we have a, um, like a detox tea that you drink every day. And it, and it take, people love this. Even when I have it, people over my house, they want the tea. It's gently um, detoxifying your kidneys and your liver. Mm. That's important. We have a digestion plus. Gut health is so important. So many people are not taking antibiotics or eating poor habits. They've totally depleted their system up probiotics, prebiotics, and um, enzymes, mm-hmm. and that's what this book talks about, too, is just that, you know, you want to have good bacteria in, in your gut, you know, you have to have a healthy gut, um, a lot of times our, our illnesses come out of, if we have bad gut mm-hmm. health, we have other problems, so digestion plus, this is, comes in a stick form, the great thing is I add it to the protein drink, but you can take it, travel with it, add it to a little bit of water, just go stomach aches, nausea, Kids can drink it. I love that. Uh, um, a grains balance that you can add. A what? It's a grains balance. It's like all your blue reds. It's like greens in a powder. So oh, okay. You can add to your shakes. I wasn't sure if you're saying grains or oh, greens. 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 Okay. This is um, this came out long before we did the clean eating, but it's a seven day cleanse. And it, what we do is we have people do this on their third week. And what that does is you've been clean eating for two weeks. So you come into the third week, you do, a, it's like one pack a day, you mix with water and drink it. And that is going to, it's marine botanicals. It's going to detoxify your system, your intestines more completely. And then we do that fourth week where you're still clean eating. But this, this is a great product too. And it's the third week. We used to do it, just people just did it randomly. It's very gentle elimination. But what we found is that they've been clean eating up to that point, much easier on the system to then, and much more effective cleansing with that. Now, if you weren't doing the 30 day clean eating, we have a maintenance package where this gets eliminated and the green balance comes into play. Okay. And then we have, of course, the statistics that are B6, B12. Um, our, we do all clinical trials. And so this product is um, helps mental clarity, focus, energy. Calm energy versus or other things that people are too much sugar or soda drinks. You know, um, people drink those to get the jolt in the afternoon or the monster drinks or the Red Bulls. I mean, oh gosh, mm. Mountain Dew, whatever, triple. <laughs> um, and so, this I had a client call me one time and she goes, I'm very calm but very focused. I don't know what this is. Actually, she was from your 212 group. Oh, yeah. Was Kathy? She was the CPA. Oh, yeah, um, Cheryl. Cheryl. And she goes, yeah. Um, am I supposed to feel that way? I said yes. <laughs> so that, that's it. And I have um, I have some, if y'all want to put your business cards on the tray or, or in a bowl, I have a, a raffle item. Um, this is their, This is our ultra hydrating clean training. All of our products have no dyes, no fragrances, this is all natural. If you want to try this, this is, this is a fun test. This is the fresh cells of five fruits and vegetables. If you put a little squeeze on your hand and smell it, then rub it together and smell it again, all the phytonutrients get released for the first time. We got we learned how to get rid of the parabens and preservatives, and we extracted the cells whole, and so they needed no preservatives. So we don't have parabens in our products. But it's really interesting because you can smell that release. <laughs> so if you want, you know, crap one, and then I'll have some yeah, little, uh, the cards. takeaways for you. Do you really need a card? <laughs> you can write one on the back. This, they, they all have, some of them have a little bit different, but it, it's an energy fist cream. It's a yeah. mascara, an eyeshadow, and a hand cream. For, for the men, I have a men's sample. Um, so it's just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <of a little, laughs> <of a> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think that's fair. And do you have a price list of what this all costs? Um, our 30-day campaign, 
as a preferred client, it's like a Costco membership, it's twenty dollars per client, and you get twenty percent off for a year, and then you can renew that. You get your own ID and pen to order you know, directly. But the twenty dollars you get, you get the we we put together packages called special value packs. You get forty percent off. So the whole cleaning package with your twenty dollars worth registration fee and a free product that you get to choose, free shipping. I think with tax is like two seventy three, basically nine dollars a day. But what I noticed when I did it, my grocery bill went down because I wasn't buying all the junk. You know, like eating out this money, and Thank I you. just was using my grocery money to pay for my protein and my energy savings. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Let me try some shapes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. Yeah. 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 Anne didn't talk about her face products, but I just have to give her like all the props in the world because I actually am a client of hers for her facial product stuff. And the entire system is amazing. I have to leave, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to it. But I mean, with my skin being so light and so sensitive, and I'm always out in the sun and you know dehydrated or whatever. Um, I mean, her the the entire line of the facial products that are over there on the left, they're amazing. I mean, like my um, my seven year old has eczema and totally gone. Like it's. I'm, I just, I mean, there's a bunch of research about how it literally rids you of psoriasis and, you know, maybe not completely, but, you know, a lot of big part. It's just amazing. I mean, I just total testament to the Arbonne product. So if you guys have an opportunity to, to get any any of the lines. Okay, we're going to draw. That's good. I'm going to have you put your hand in here. I'm not going to look. Thank you.